Hey, what's up guys welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you the most conclusive optimization guide for the piece that ps lower latency lower ping and more so first thing we have to do is go into fortnite and i'm going to your settings and this is the best competitive settings i mean i use windows full screen because sometimes i use stretch resolution which is much easier for me to change and then once you do that make sure you choose your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate and then choose performance mode for graphic settings, you can choose whatever you like. If you, I like, preferably, um, 100% and then no colorblind mode, nothing else. So then for graphics quality, I recommend you to use 85% of, and then this you could change. You can either choose near, medium or far. I like far, because I can see leaves from far away. But then, yeah, textures low, and this will boost your FPS by low. Mesh is also low, and then show FPS on. If you do have Nvidia, I recommend you to go to DirectX 11 and then turn on NVIDIA Boost Reflex. Turn it on and you can go back to performance mode. The next tweaks I'm going to be going through is Windows tweaks. So right click on your Windows and then click on Display Settings. On CD, go to Accessibilities and then Visual Effects and then make sure all of these are turned off and just reduce a lot of input delay. And then once you do that, go into Display and once you go into Display, Make sure you go to advanced display and choose your monitor refresh rate. So if you have 240 hertz, you choose 240 hertz, and it will take a time to load, and then you keep. So then once you do that, go to graphics, and then choose add desktop app. Make sure you choose Fortnite. To find Fortnite, go to your local disk, and then program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And then it should be called Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. Make sure you choose that. And once you add it, make sure you put it as a GPU and high performance. After that, go up until you see advanced graphics settings. So that's if you have the option. If you do, click on it and then make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on. And make sure optimization for Windows games is on. After that, we go into system, we go into storage, and then temporary files. It takes a bit of time to load but then it will detect everything that's in your computer that you don't need so like this windows upgrade log files all of this that you don't need and then you just click remove files and then continue and then it will start removing the files in the background and once it's done it will, see, it will be like this and then, then power power mode and then if you have a laptop select high performance and then make sure you disable any energy features that are here so like energy server make sure that's off after that going to gaming game bar make sure game bar is disabled and then game mode is enabled now i'm going to show you how to get potato graphics on fortnite so go to edge and search up discord dot gd slash xylo you search it up and it will take you to Discord. Go all the way down until you can see free utility and optimization guys. So we'll do this one first. So this how to get potato graphics. So click on Fortnite. So these are my perfect, my favorite settings. So download it. And then if you don't have a video profile inspector, just go here and then download it from here. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this resolution the way I do it. Go to NVIDIA control panel, open it up, and then go to change resolution. I personally like Peter Bosch resolution, which is 720 by 1080. But obviously, you guys can choose which is best like 40, 40 by 1080. But my favorite one is 720 by 1080. So you set up 7, so you put 720 by 1080. 1080. Choose this refresh of your monitor. If you have more, you do more. And then once you do, just click test, and then I already have one, so I can make another one, but yeah, that's how you do it. Once you open the app, search here Fortnite. I click on it. And then what you have to do now is click import, import profile, and then select the one I gave you. So Zara Fortnite for your graphics, zero delay. Let's open and then input you do this so then what you have to change now is go into texture filtering and then make sure it's set at 1.375 and then you're good and apply changes and then you're good 
give some time to load and then you can close it down the next tweaks are my free utilities so once you're done go into free utility and then click on download business site and then we have to do is complete these three steps to get the Zalo v4 utility so we're going to complete it and i'm going to show you how to run it once you're done make sure you extract it all and then bring it to desktop and then we have to do is right click run as admin and then press yes once you do that make sure you create a restore point just in case anything happens to your computer you can always go back before anything happened basically so we create a restore point press one to create a restore point but since i've already done that we press two and then these are all the tweaks that are included so advanced window settings network tweaks power tweaks game priority tweaks performance tweaks bcd tweaks there's many many tweaks gpu tweaks cpu tweaks so to apply any tweak let's do gpu so press 15 and enter once you're done you select if you have nvidia amd or intel gpu if you don't know what you have just press 4 and enter and then go to performance and then you will see i have a amd ryzen 5 3600 and a gpu of 6060 ti so then my gpu is nvidia so you press 1 and enter and then you start applying all the nvidia tweaks it takes a bit of time but once it's done you press any key to continue you go back and then we could do cpu tweaks and then i have amd so you press 1 and enter you apply all the tweaks once you're done you choose any tweaks that you want to do i recommend you to do all of them so like for example bcd tweaks so number six enter or direct x tweaks 17 and enter or ram tweaks you select your i mean do number one and then select how much ram you have i have 16 so i do 16 if you don't know just press zero you take it to task manager go back into performance and then memory and it will tell you how much RAM you have here so now i know that i have 16 so i press 5 then enter and then press number two for more ram tweaks and then you're good it will take a bit of time to load but once it's done you press any key to continue once you're done go back and you can do any other tweaks so like input delay tweaks number 10 and enter and then yeah so that's input delay tweaks done and then you can keep doing all the tweaks if you have any issues after applying the tweaks click on 22 and then phone line not opening if your phone stops opening after applying the tweaks just press one and enter and it will fix all the issues so then yeah and then finally i want to give you guys my premium and strategy utility so press 21 it will open the browser and then you can see my standard and premium to utility which does have a lot of reviews and obviously we keep updating the premium and standard utility like monthly so make sure to check out check it out and then, yeah make sure you like and follow subscribe and i'll see you in the guys in the next video